Hey there, so uh, War God 60, I've uh, been doing some uh, vinyl tag or whatever it's called, I'm not too sure on all the terms and I'm quite new to the vinyl community so I'm probably saying things wrong and I don't remember everyone's names yet either. But uh, yeah, so you've got to spell out heavy metal basically, spell out heavy metal with some records. I've not actually chosen my records in advance, I'm just going to just gonna go through and uh, I'm just going to hit you with what I find. So let's go H, let's have... Haunted Garage for something a little bit different. Just gonna grab a random record. Possession Park. I saw these guys live in East London one time. They were quite cool. They're kind of like a, a punky kind of gua, kind of forerunner to gua. I don't know if they had any connection with them. They were on Metal Blade though. And uh, yeah, they weren't too bad. All right. For E, <laughs> this one goes out to Mark C with a G. Uh, he was talking about Exorder on his E, I think, and he was saying he didn't have Slot in the back on vinyl. And uh, so I've just been me, I've been mean and showing it off. Exorder Slot in the back. And, but saying that, I haven't got the law on vinyl, I don't think. So yeah, he's got one over me. <laughs> I may have this over him, but he's got uh, the law over me. Uh, for A, let's go with Acheron. Acheron Satanic Black Metal, uh, not Black Metal, they were kind of like Death Metal, satanic -y Death Metal, uh, Vincent Crowley on vocals and bass. I'm sure these guys have something to do with um, another band, what was that other band they were associated with? I'm sure one of the guys from this band used to be in like Nocturnals or something like that, I'm not too sure, but this is basically, this is quite dark, this is almost like spells set to music, and I think there's some like spell chants at the beginning of each song. This is Acheron Rites of the Black Mass. Right, for V, UK Thrash Band Virus. This is their second album, one of my favourites of theirs. Uh, this is False Recon. Uh, good, good stuff. Good old, like, nasty, slightly punky thrash. Great, great band. Right, for Y, I've got this band, Yattering. Um, covering up the small amount of nudity on here. <laughs> uh, Yattering, this is a CD called Murder's Concept. I can't remember where they're from, I think they're from Poland. Yeah, very brutal and very technical death metal from Poland with a big fat sound. That was out on Seasons of Mist Records. Uh, not too sure what year that was. Long time ago now though. 2000. 2000 this came out. Yeah, I'm not too up on buying new stuff nowadays. I'm pretty, uh, most of my stuff is quite old. All right, so that's heavy. Let's go on to the metal. Right, let's have a, a fun M. M.O.D. Method of Destruction. This is a fresh band, kind of crossover. Uh, Paul Paul Milano was the main man from this. He did some stuff with S.O.D. as well, and uh, yeah, M.O.D. was his main thing. And this was their fun album, Surfing M.O.D. It's got basically covers of Surfing USA and uh, stuff. It's got a cover of Lulu Shout on it as well, <laughs> which is pretty decent. But yeah, thrashing stuff. Good, good laugh. For the next D, let's have English Dogs Forward Into Battle. These guys are kind of like started off as a punk band, then they turned metal, turned thrash, and they at one point there was two bands. There was the metal version of English Dogs going, plus the punk version of English Dogs going. Uh, I'm not too sure what's going on with them now. I think the singer from this album sings for Acid Age now, a Northern Ireland band. Uh, at least I'm not sure he's had any releases yet, but he's supposed to be singing for them, which will be cool. Great, great album this one. Check this out. If you've never checked that out before, it's well worth checking out. Great stuff. Okay, for T's, let's go with Ferion. This is their first album. This is in the days when they were still death metal. This is a really cool death metal album. They went kind of gothic uh, soon afterwards, and now they're kind of like mainly just gothic stuff. Gothic-y metal. They're all right. They was alright for a man listened to for a while, but it was they was going pretty decently, fairly still good albums, even when they were a gothic. But I think they've kind of gone too gothic now, and uh, there's hardly any metal in there at all. But uh, yeah, this was a really cool early death metal album by them. Great stuff. It's of darkness by Ferion. Right for A, let's just dig out the very first album I've got in my racks. This is Accuser. I think this is their very first release, I believe. These guys are still going strong today. This is from like 86 or something. This is pretty old, this one. I'm not too sure of the year, but it's a fair old while ago now, this is. This is accused of with the conviction. Bought this in Sounds Familiar for £3.50 many, many moons ago. 
I say they're still going strong now. They've changed their style a fair bit. In the mid-90s, they kind of lost their way a little bit, I think. Uh, they went kind of like the modern 90s kind of sound. But this is the old 80s style thrash when they were really good. And apparently their new, uh, more modern stuff is really good as well. Back to like kind of thrashing rather than being like modern metal like they were for a while in the 90s. Uh, but actually, I'm not actually listening to the newer stuff actually, but I have heard good things from various people. Finally, I'll stick it with thrash. This is from some German thrash, Living Death, Metal Revolution. These guys are pretty cool. Some of the early stuff, uh, the vocals don't appeal to some people, but I like the vocals on the early stuff actually. It's that real kind of like screaming, yelping kind of style, like yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of stuff. Gripping a heart, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you'd say it, but it's got screaming from a chamber and like real kind of uh, stuff like that. But yeah, some people say, oh, those those early lip, those vocals are really bad. But I like that kind of quirky, kind of shouty kind of style. And yeah, these are uh, good band. Had about three or four albums, I think. I think I got most of them. It's been split up a long while now. They changed the name at one point to, I think there was a living, I think there was one band called Living Death and then an alternate lineup called Sacred K.O. named after one of their songs. They're both going at the same time. But I don't think these guys have been together for ages now. But they were pretty cool. If you get a chance, check those out. So that's my heavy metal. Uh, yeah, and uh, it was a good, good uh, what do you call it? A good tag uh, video to do. So yeah, that's me spelling out heavy metal with some of my records and one of my CDs. And uh, yeah, cheers for watching and subscribe and hit the bell and all that stuff if you want to see more from me. I don't do masses of vinyl stuff, but I like to sort of like comment on other people's vinyl stuff and make uh, videos if there's any, any kinds of tags going on. Because most of my stuff, I do a lot of I do a lot of other stuff. I do vinyl on Mondays with my mate Eric, going for his vinyl. Tuesdays I talk about an old demo tape. All this here is demo tapes in my collection. So if you're interested in old demo tapes, check it out on Tuesday. Thursdays I put up some digital downloads you can go and get for free off of the internet. Uh, Saturdays I go through my CDs. So yeah, you know, add me if you want to watch any of that stuff. Cheers.